All right, my friend, welcome. My name is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi. I'm the founder here at The Fit Father Project. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to do a proper dumbbell deadlift. Two varieties, both a classic standard deadlift and a stiff deadlift using the dumbbells. It's an incredibly great leg and back builder. In this video, we're gonna cover all the fine form points. You're gonna see me demo a few quality reps here, and I'm gonna give you some ideas on the proper reps and sets. You can incorporate this great exercise into your routine. Let's dive on in. FitFatherProject.com. All right, so the dumbbell deadlift set starts with the setup. You need, you know, at least three, four feet of space around you, and you need a pair of dumbbells. So uh, here I have some good adjustable dumbbells here. Uh, these are around 45 pounds. Um, and what I want you to do uh, for a setup is all good deadlifts, whether using a barbell or a dumbbell, starts with proper spinal alignment. So I want your feet to be roughly shoulder width apart, um, and I want you to make sure that you're not hunching forward, you're not leaning too far back, and your weight is evenly distributed throughout your feet. Because if we don't get the foot placement right, the rest of the deadlift is gonna collapse on us. So to start off with a standard conventional deadlift using the dumbbells, we have that good foot shoulder width foot placement. I'm gonna come down and the dumbbells are gonna be at my sides, loaded just like this. And they're not gonna be above the toes. It's good to keep the dumbbells almost at midfoot because we want to make sure that the weight is distributed throughout the center of your foot where your plumb line is, where your optimal center of gravity is. If they're too far forward, you're gonna feel like you're leaning and forward the whole time. So dumbbells are here. You're gonna bend down to meet the dumbbells just like this. Now, one tweak I want you to make in this position is I want you to feel like you're sitting back into a chair and your chest is coming up. It's subtle, but this is the proper starting position. It's not here, we're not turtle shelled. That butt's sitting down and I'm pulling back and even with just my weight the dumbbells are almost starting to come off the floor so we're right here and we're gonna drive through the middle of the foot stand up squeeze the glutes at the top arms are tight glutes are tight and we're in this good position right here now we're gonna slowly come down unwind the motion dumbbells touch the ground deep breath fire right back up here right down so some things that are important form points as I'm doing some more reps I'm coming down nice and slow Dumbbells are touching, I'm reloading the tension. I'm driving up, squeezing the glutes at the top. My head is maintaining neutral alignment. I'm not here, I'm not here. Chin is packed, just like this, and I'm looking straight ahead. Coming down, pausing, coming right back up. Next thing is my arms aren't bent. My arms are long, they're cables. A huge mistake people make when they're doing these dumbbell deadlifts is they try to bend their arms and curl it up. Keep those arms nice and tight and straight. Don't bend them at the elbow. So a few more reps, deep breath, down, fire up, right on down, right to here. So that is the first kind of deadlift, which is a conventional deadlift. Great for your quads, your back, even your arms, because you're really squeezing those dumbbells. We can also do a stiff-legged deadlift, which is a variation where we're gonna be the legs they're gonna be more stiff. They're gonna be more upright. We're not gonna be as bent down in that initial squat position. And what that's gonna do is really help target more of the hamstrings, the glutes, and the backside. So both are great exercises. They're different, and I recommend you include them both for different purposes. So stiff deadlift. Starting position for this is a little different. I like to start with the dumbbells in front of me, my feet in between the dumbbells. Why this is important? Well. I find it's a lot easier because we want to put the tension on the hamstrings to have the weights out in front because that's going to create that nice forward load that we have to pull back against when we actually do the deadlift. So uh, make sure that you're safe here and that the dumbbells are between your feet and you're not crushing any toes. But if you can do this safely, this is a great starting position. So dumbbells are in between my feet. I'm squeezing. Now from the side, I want you to see what it looks like when my hamstrings are loaded. This is how I was starting on the previous deadlift. Here is where I am here. Notice my back's not rounded. It's still nice and flat, but the hamstrings have a slight bend in them. They're not totally straight, slight bend, but they're definitely more loaded than they were when I was down here in the conventional. So right here, deep breath, pull up, finish right back here, slowly unwind. Now notice the difference here. I'm keeping those legs pretty stiff, pausing at the bottom, firing right back up. I'm not allowing that knee to bend, more than I'd say 15, 20 degrees. I'm not coming down to here. I'm keeping the tension on the hammies, firing right back up. One little pro tip that I like is at the bottom of this motion when those hamstrings are totally stretched from that weight is to pause for a second, right here. Come right back up, squeeze the glutes, right back down. And when you're done, make sure those weights sit on the outsides of your feet, you don't crush your toes. 
So those are the two primary kinds of dumbbell deadlifts, the conventional and the stiff. Both are great for different purposes. Again, stiff deadlifts, a little more of your hamstrings and your glutes. The traditional dumbbell deadlift is great for your quads, your back, you know, and your hamstrings and glutes too. You need to go heavy enough on this exercise. This is not the kind of exercise where you grab a pair of 15 pound dumbbells and do a million reps. This is something that's a primary compound movement. So you wanna go as heavy as possible that's safe for your body and your mechanics. So for me, if I was not demoing this, I would ideally like to use maybe 80, 90, even 100 pound dumbbells, as heavy as I can go. And I like to do these in the six to eight rep range. You know, it's enough that you're getting good time under tension, but this is not necessarily something you're gonna do for tons of reps. Hamstrings are a very fast twitch muscle fiber and deadlifts are something that it's really important that your form is good. So what I don't want you doing 50 reps where your form starts to break down. And I also want you to go heavy enough that you're really respecting the fact that these are some fast twitch muscle fibers and wanna lift heavy and have good quality explosive reps. So if you're starting out, you can actually include both these kind of deadlifts into one workout. This would be great for both a lower body day, depending on how you have your setup, or you can even include the traditional uh, standard conventional dumbbell deadlifts in a back day, because it's an amazing back exercise. Um, I would definitely save that stiff legged dumbbell deadlift for some day that you're doing some leg work. It's good to finish after you've done some kind of squats and other things. So again, uh, somewhere in that three to six to 12 rep range, six to eight is like probably the sweet spot for these um, and work on getting stronger. You know, you will see gains from this exercise when you get stronger and I hope this video was helpful for you. If you like this, definitely hit thumbs up and subscribe to our Fit Father Project YouTube channel. We publish new videos just like this every single week on exercise tutorials, but also other really important stuff like how to eat healthy, the proper meal plan, stuff on motivation, discipline, and mindset. All the things you need to stay strong and permanently healthy for your family is we're the Fit Father Project. This is what we do. So thumbs up, hit subscribe. Um, and I also wanna invite you to check out some of our other videos that you might like. Some tutorials on how to do a barbell deadlift and some of our other popular uploads. Those are all on the channel and I look forward to seeing you around there. Hope you found this helpful, my friend. I'll talk to you very soon.